AFTV, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy Boxing Day. Oh, very happy Boxing Day. Very much so. That's a wrap, wrap that up this day. Easy, nice. Very nice. But good performance today. Um, God, you can't ask for no more, can you really? I, I, you know, you look to get three points, but to play like that and be that convincing uh, and, and really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the game. Got to, can't, yeah. can't complain. 5-0 away from home. I know it's Norwich. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, don't get excited. No, but away from home in the Premier League, you go away and beat a team 5-0. That's impressive. Yeah, exactly. No, Norwich are there for... Norwich are bottom of the league for a, for a reason. We know that. So you have to go there. What you have to do when you play those teams is be uh, professional. You have to be ruthless and, and you know, not give them any encouragement to, to, to get into the game or whatever. We've done that from the word go. So you, from my point of view, you can't argue with anything today. Fantastic. What I liked about the game today and the performance was there was a purpose moving the ball quickly he knew exactly what we was doing I think I'm, I, I know I'm a big I'm going to big him up all the time Martinelli he weren't the man of the match today but he's made such a difference to the team he's, he's energised it in the first goal look where he won the ball yeah exactly yeah. He, 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 he wins the ball he's energised the team and then mm. from then on it's class you know what I mean Ullegaard class and then Saka brilliant you know I thought Saka today was fantastic by the mm. way but Ullegaard pushing him close but I do think that since Martinelli's come into the side, there's just been a big lift. Mm. Big, big lift. Yep, and like you said, ruthless display by Arsenal. Mm. Five goals. And a player that's really stepped up over the past few games has been Martin Odegaard. Been brilliant. I said about four or five weeks in a fan cam, you know, give him mm. time. There's, there's a player there. You know, uh, and I'll go back to the game against West Ham when we was 3 0 down. He took the game by the scruff of the neck that day, and I was really, really impressed with him. Then he, I don't know if you remember, he picks up an ankle injury, struggled a little bit. You know, I think like coming over here, big move and everything like that. You know, I don't think he's been given the credit he deserves. And, and well, his performances in the last few games have been nothing but sensational. Today, I thought he was brilliant. Mm. You know, Great what. Pass for oh, goal as well. It's, you know, fantastic vision. Fantastic, you know, and uh, he's got and, and what he's done over the last four, five, six games, he's done it consistently, you know, and that's what you want from sort of a playmaker slash that sort of role, and, he, and he's done that exceptionally well. And he's got to do it now on on Tuesday, and then more importantly, like against one of the be the big teams, Man City. But mm. listen, you know, at this moment in time, you can only play what's in front of you. We've we've played. Listen, this, I'm not going to get carried away with the performances but, uh, because I am going to get carried away with the way we've played, but. We've we've, seen, we've we've beaten teams that we've expected to beat, but we've we've done that in that ten ten game run with bitty performances. Do you know what I'm saying? Like struggling one nils, Burnley, Norwich at home, and you're thinking, you know, it weren't very good to watch. What I'm watching now is like we're, we're energised. It's entertaining. There's there's a purpose to our play, so it's encouraging. I've got to say that. Yep, Wolves on Tuesday, not a lot of turnarounds. You know what I mean? One day really. One day, they literally, those players will get up, get home tonight from Norwich. Maybe, surely they can't train tomorrow. Nah, if, nah, if they nah, do a nah. little light training, a rest of light training. And then there's another game on Tuesday. Is it too punishing for these players, do you think? You've, you've heard a lot of them moaning and that. I mean, COVID on top of that. I've always said it, and I, and I, I will say it's, it, it is a bit punishing. But if it's done correctly... And I mean that, like, if you play today, then you play on Tuesday. Like, but there's other teams that are not playing, you know what I mean, getting an extra day and all that. You know, you can't be doing that. If you're going to force teams to play uh, two games in three days, then the whole league's got to do it, like, which they've, which has never happened, by the way. It's, just, it's the way that it is. You've just got to get on with it. It benefits the big teams with the big squads. Mm. And we're fortunate enough that we've got an, a, a big enough squad to be able to cope with that. So I don't see it being too much of a problem. Listen, if, if, if I was a player... You know what I mean? Like, you play today, you have a day off and a rest day tomorrow and then play again. Like, you know what I mean? No training. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm all over it like a rash. So, like, for me, like, I, I, don't, I don't think the players are going to be complaining too much. They're not because of the COVID situations. But, listen, every, every club uh, has got those problems you know we've had three or four go down today I don't I don't and I'm going to give Mikel a lot of credit for it I don't see him coming out whinging about it and moaning about it he's just getting on with it you know classy Arsenal getting on with it like you know where other teams are moaning about it so uh, and we've had it we had it at the beginning of the season Robbie like you know so uh, for me we're getting on with it we're, we're it will be a test for us on Tuesday because they've not mm. played today 
uh, uh, Wolves. So they're going to be a little bit more. What team would you go with? Oh, do you uh, make do you make a lot of changes, no. freshen it up, or do you go with the same team? No, I, I, I think go with the same sort of team. I think you know, I think Mikel done it well today. As soon as the game was won, off comes Saka, off comes Martinelli. You know, the ones that I think work the hardest. They do, you know, the forward sort of players do have to work very, very hard. So I think that he's done that. You know, listen, Smith Rowe's banging on the door to get back into the side. So mm. there could be like one or two to just freshen up. But I, 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 don't, I wouldn't go too too mad about it. I, I don't think that we need to. I think that at the moment, listen, I think when you're winning games of football, I think you're, you know, like you, you don't feel the tiredness as much, you know. So, you know, for me, I keep it basically the same and uh, just to get a night you know to get home today have a nice rest tomorrow it's going to be tough like that first 20-25 minutes on, on um, Tuesday might be tough for us If we, but if we can ride that I think we'll be okay and listen I'm um, halfway through the league now can this team maintain the top four it'd be it'd be huge if he could get top four this season still a long way to go but do you think this team has what it takes I think the team does I really do. I think we've got the players to do it. I, um, and, and it's now really, you know, no, no one's questioning other teams, you know, so um, to, to be able to do it. You know, people are still saying Man United are going to be there, you know, even on the stream today saying that Spurs are going to be there um, and there and thereabouts. So why not Arsenal? You know, I think we've got better players in, uh, than, than definitely Tottenham at this moment in time. But, you know, I'll have the, the argument is for the Spurs fans, they've probably got a better manager. But, you know, nothing, nothing's uh, set in stone at the moment. The way Mikel's doing it about the moment, listen, you know, I'm not, I'm not his greatest lover at this moment in time, but, you know, he's winning me round. He's winning me round when he plays performances like that and doing the things that he's doing. And that's all he can do at this moment in time is continue to keep winning his games. What he's got to do is get on a run of six, seven, eight, nine, ten games now, unbeaten. And, then, and in, that, in that run, you've got Spurs and uh, Man City. Mm. If you're going to cement a fourth place you've got to beat one of them you know what I mean so no free hits you know what I mean like just saying that no free, no free hits no free hits these, these are games that he's got to go and win and you know like and when I was saying that you know about the free hits I'm trying to give him a little bit of leeway and all that like you know so he, he, he blew that with those performances against Manchester United and, and Everton he really did but he's now got he's done his, what he's done with the, the results that he's got but he's got to continue it now. And let's hope that he can. Wolves, Wolves are going to be not easy. And then obviously City on, 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 on the Saturday. And then we'll have a little assessment after that.